Disney has been losing money, prestige, power, influence, and market share over the last few years thanks to its constant insistence on radically politicizing children's entertainment to push crazy social agendas. You know the ones I'm talking about. Yes, you do, and we're not happy about them at all. But now with Snow White, or perhaps that should be Mud Brown, the controversy was just beginning with the race swap. First of all, of course, you've got to remember that by race swapping a character like Snow White, whose name is Snow White, for having skin as white as snow, to race swap that character is something that flies in the face of the movie's own title, the property's own title, and the character's first and last, apparently, name. Without all the other changes that they'd be making, that would have been bad enough. But the big surprise, of course, was when Peter Dinklage showed up sometime last year and pulled up the Hollywood access ladder behind him, effectively casting all of the other dwarf actors in Hollywood into the pit of abyss of obscurity below him because he claimed that casting dwarves to play, well, dwarves would somehow be offensive. Um... Okay, that's bad enough, but of course that did beg the question of what the hell exactly they were going to do when it came to casting the dwarves in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Well, we have an answer. And these set photos that were leaked by an independent photographer have revealed the strangest collection of... <laughs> I'm going to say characters that you have probably seen since the last time you watched a Hayao Miyazaki movie. It's probably best if I just show you. Hello, legends. Welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely day. Consider liking this video if you find that you are enjoying it at some point. And don't forget to subscribe to Will of the Fans for more news, reviews, commentary, and rebellion from yours truly. We're going to go over to a couple of these websites and take a look at this situation as, as it unfolds. Because this is just getting more and more and more bizarre. I, I'm just going to get into it. Okay, let's do it. First, we're going to stop off at Breitbart for a conservative, if you like, uh, a common sense opinion as uh, from David Ng here. Photos of Disney's multiracial Snow White remake inspire widespread mockery. Only one dwarf among seven dwarves. That's right. You're going to see it. If you haven't seen it yet, you've probably seen it already. But let's stay with me here because this is, this, this, this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. First of all, here's the, here's the original dwarves. You're going to see the ones you recognize here. You've got, what, bashful, sleepy, dopey, grumpy. I can't remember the others. Um, I was never that big a fan of Snow White, to be quite honest with you. But it was okay, I guess. In that, of course, very iconic uh, early sort of 1940s Disney art style that many people just find so beloved, you know? Obviously... There is nothing but benevolence in this photo. These are seven very, very well-meaning people who uh, have no intentions but good and to protect an innocent girl who needs protecting uh, from evil. Fair enough. But it does say here, unauthorized photos taken from the set of Disney's upcoming Wokes live-action Snow White remake have inspired widespread mockery and derision after revealing the first look of the seven dwarves who re resemble multiracial hipsters and almost all are normal size after the studio pledged like last year to avoid reinforcing stereotypes about i mean the word says midgets but uh you know that's that's that disney also cast a woman among the multiracial seven dwarves and even though they were all white males in the original fairy tale and has dressed them as some commenters joke to look like seven non-binary baristas or multi-ethnic portland hipsters it's best if we just get to it, isn't it? Here, of course, though, is Yahoo Entertainment uh, sitting on the fence, as they always do politically, uh, claiming here, because this is the part that you've got to remember, Disney totally fucking lied about these pictures. They said that they're fake. If you go to sites and even Google this, you'll find places like the Mary Sue coming out and saying, oh, these are fake photos and conservatives are getting up in arms about them. Uh, 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 your mask is slipping. Well, Disney has now had to backpedal because it turned out that the person who shot these photos, which were taken in Bedfordshire, by the way, in the UK, that would be my home county, uh, would they, they were wandering around in the fields of Bedfordshire dressed like this, and it seems that most likely what actually happened is the person who got these shots was not licensed in any way to be on the set and just had a drone around or something. So, uh, yeah. 
these the, the problem Disney has is that when they try to lie by saying that they're fake, they are not fake. They are real photos of a real set that where there was real shooting going on by Disney. The fakeness that they're discussing here is the fact that the photos are, quote, not official. A uh, very clear distinction that Disney has now had to eat humble pie by making. Now there, of course, you can see the original Snow White, who is, uh, as they point out, white as snow. But update July 14th, 6.35 p.m. from Yahoo, after initially telling the Daily Beast that the Snow White set photos were fake, a spokesperson now says that the photos are in fact from the production, but not official photos. We regret the error, and in our mind they still look pretty fake. Yes, this is of course Yahoo, trying to look like they are sitting on the fence, but then throwing in... Uh, Comments here like libs of TikTok and Matt Walsh, right-wing commentators who threw temper tantrums, little temper tantrums, but here is the article itself. <laughs> Every time I look at this, it makes me laugh. This is about the third thing I've done about it. I've been on Saturday Night Hypnosis talking about this. I did my own show, Chill of the Fans, last night talking about this, and now I'm looking at it again, and I still just think, oh my god, what are you doing? Okay, first of all, budget. Where is it? What are they spending money on? Because it certainly ain't costumes. Look at Snow White. She looks like she's in a school play. She looks like she got her costume from, like, in a, in a McDonald's Happy Meal or something. This is awful. Now, I don't know if the main costumes for the actual actors are going to be uh, there for the real ones. You may notice here that that is not Rachel Zegler, the uh, Latina who's playing Snow White for some reason. Uh, but she looks reasonably like her. But these are obviously pickup shots or... or, or or just, you know, B-roll shots for for inclusion somewhere in the movie at some point. Um, now then, to the dwarves. <laughs> dwarves. Okay, yeah, dwarves. I count one there. What about you? One dwarf. Yes, one dwarf. One whole dwarf among them. Uh, at the back, you can see a guy who looks like he should not be allowed anywhere near schools. I've said this already. You've got two uh, people who definitely are not from the part of the world where this kind of story was written and should be taking place in the kind of era that it was written and to take place. Um, dressed like they just got off the set of uh, an educational school TV show about pirates or, or hippies or something. These costumes are all disgusting, they're ugly, they're cringe, they're... I mean, what are they so freaking happy about? I don't get it. The guy in front of them is the only one who looks reasonably like he could be playing a dwarf, but oh wait, he's also a full-sized man. He looks like he should be in some kind of East European metal band that sings about eras gone by. He's the only one here who is carrying any kind of mining equipment, a rope, um, and I don't know, I don't know, is he meant to be grumpy? Which one's he meant to be? Which ones are they meant to be? They don't, they don't even look like they suit the names. The guy next to him kind of looks like he's, you know, operating some kind of smuggling boat. Uh, he's got, he looks like the kind of guy who walks into a pub and tells everyone to call him Cap or Cap'n. He doesn't look at all like a dwarf. He seems to be wearing uh, some kind of sports coat over a hoodie. He's, of course, also normal size. None of them have got, well, two of them have got, well, three of them, have, well, four of them actually have got beards. Okay, I'll give them that. But only one of them's really got a beard. Okay, uh, then, of course, we have got, I don't know, Dwayne Johnson playing Jimi Hendrix. I don't know what this guy is about. What is that costume? Those colors? That Why does he look like he came out of the 1970s? What is this? And finally, right at the end there, a dwarf who very strongly looks like he may not have two arms. Uh, if you look at some of the other pictures here, you will find uh, in place of a prince, there is another guy walking among them who kind of looks like... Um, the little budget version of Gildroy Lockhart from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is a joke, right? What are they going to do with this? What can you possibly infer about this movie other than it looks terrible? And if these are even just the stunt doubles for the dwarves, 
then what the hell is coming next? You let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. And subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see some more of me. Because I'd like to see some more of you. I'll be back with another video very soon. But until then, see you next time.